Huh. All right. Hello. I packed my knapsack to the brim and I left out what I couldn't fit in and I worked my fingers to the bone I was trying to scrape out place to call home and I loved you like it was the 4th of July. The grass was green, the corn it was high and I watched you stand waiting for me but I had to go, I was moving away. I'm in no hurry. But I gotta move on. My heart started dancing to a different song. I never wanted more than was fair. I learned how to be less attached to my hair and I. Live my life as though I were free. It's a part of you I kept with me, and I know you'll miss me, but I gotta be free. I need more time. I'm moving free. I'm a work in progress. Without a doubt. Got more in me Then I'll let you find out Oh, well, enough about you I've been speaking on me And I always feel pretty singing Under a pretty tree And I'll miss you right back that I'm sure, cause you're the kind I get a hankering for. Took four years, 14. About 15 homes, 25. But I finally found a place where I can rest. My bones, and it may be small, oh, but the water runs free, and there's plenty of room for my shadow and me. That's all it took. I moved Marie for six fifty a month plus utilities. Well, that was written over 10 years ago, so the, <laughs> the numbers are a little off. Um, Marie in the morning. For those of you joining me from uh, Marco Polo Sharecast, hi, welcome. Marie in the morning is now on YouTube. Apparently, I sometimes do lives. For everybody else, um, that was my little introduction song called Move and Marie. I wrote that uh, 2011-ish. So, but it's still pretty true. So that was my little introduction. I had a lot of things I wanted to talk about Wednesday when I started to try to do this, but I couldn't get it up and running. And now I'm not really feeling as passionate about those topics. I don't even remember what they are, in fact. So I thought I would just hop on here, get started, say hello, mm -hmm. and uh, that's probably it. Yeah. Nobody's here, and I don't know if this stays alive. So here's, here's more of what I'm doing. Look, I am 
a former filmmaker, a former newscast director, a former philosopher, a former yoga instructor, and a former server most recently. And I had a kid and then COVID hit and being a stay at home mom, which was never like an option for me as like a working class person, all of a sudden became what I was doing. And now as sort of we're moving back into, uh, are we going to call this the new normal? I don't know. The new normal. I um, now I really want to remain a stay-at-home parent because I just find so much value in what it offers my kid. But um, that requires me to earn money in some capacity. So I have spent the last year. Goodness gravy! Yes, I have spent the last year trying to become, no, learning to become more financially literate and moving into the entrepreneurial space. And I have done so by the easiest way possible, following ads on (laughs) Instagram and taking a lot of free masterclasses. And there's some, there's some good information. There's a lot of information on there that I didn't know. But what I'm kind of discovered is that I thought I was being this explorador, financial adventurer. And really, I was um, the customer base for the niche financial improvement, wealth, wealth management, wealth growth. So... I have to take, I have to take all of these, these lessons that I've learned with that grain of salt. And so many of them, but the answer that they have is to get attention and, and monetize the attention, right? Because in this world, what are our commodities? Well, there's some physical products, but the most valuable committed commodity, as far as I've been able to surmise is human beings attention because where we put our attention is where we will spend our money and advertisers want to get in front of that. Right. So it seems to me that in order to succeed in the way that the people who are advertising to me say I can succeed, it's to do what they're doing. It's to find audiences to monetize. And I'm in this space where I feel like I don't have enough time to like, mm, there's the illusion that I don't have enough time to grow organically, that I need to take a shortcut, that I need to do the fastest thing to just start getting money in the bank. And if the trade-off is to follow these systems that do this thing that I don't really agree with, then I'm out of alignment. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a really a good solution. But on the other hand, that means forging my own way and my own place. And the way I think so much of this stuff should be is free, right? Like I was a yoga teacher, but I struggled to, to monetize that because to me, the lessons I learned in yoga to be able to take care of our physical and mental and emotional and spiritual body. These are our birthright and not something to be gatekeeped. So I had a real struggle charging people for that. And uh, now look, I don't have any beef with anybody that does charge for that. I love to go to it. Right. So I let my philosophical belief stop me from sort of, moving forward in in that in that schema at the time and i'm finding myself doing that again like so i want to I want to share what i've learned and i want to give people the shortcuts that i have had to discover the long way and i don't want to monetize that well i mean i do right i do want to monetize something i want to 
have some way for my output into the world, my work, to bring money into my household to support my family. But I get stuck up on the way things are. And so a, a concern I have about just forging my own path in this new way is that I have no way to know or believe that that will bring money into the house at all. And if I didn't need to be a person doing that, cool. So that's kind of where I'm stuck. The attention of attention. So what Marie in the morning is, is my, is my freebie, right? Um, it is just everything I think and know and I've learned and feel like might have some value to some people worth sharing. This is the platform and I'm taking it off of, I'm taking it out of Marco Polo Sharecast and putting it on YouTube to reach a broader audience. If there are more people that are interested that don't have Marco Polo, which is a free app and it is amazing and you can get it for free and you can join my Sharecast for free to see all the things that I talk about and think about. Um, who even am I? Well, you'll see. Or you won't see. I don't know. I don't know how... I do know how to convince you and I don't want to. I don't want to use um, psychology to tap into like creating a problem and offering a solution and making you the viewer tapping into our sort of uh, easily manipulated brains because they can be easily manipulated through information and through um, advertising, through marketing. Um, I am easily manipulated, you know? Um, So I don't want to do that. Uh, other than that, I am uh, an artist. I write some songs. I do graphic design. I think deep thoughts. I do astrology. I work on being a better version of myself where available. And I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of lots of things. So if I'm a big fan of something, I just pour support into it. And I am really struggling to live in the framework of capitalism and also don't know how to escape it enough <laughs> successfully for it to not be a thing. So what did I write down? Finances are someone else's game. Play it well, but know it's a game. So I'm trying to do that. Um, right now I've got, I'm trying to develop a system for myself to have a well-balanced life, right? So what do I got here? I've started to look to nature as like instruction manuals. So what do, what do you need for like to grow things? Well, you need a fertile field, okay, right? That's like good dirt, good nutrients in the dirt, no, no clay. It needs to be a good environment. Then you need to plant a seed, put the seed in, and then you give it some attention. You water it. You let make sure it's got good light or the right amount of light that it needs. Um, and then you take actions as needed, like maybe it's you prune you prune or you weed or whatever you you pay attention to this to the seed with the frequency that it needs because sometimes it's a lot and sometimes it's not much and then you give it time right and then you wait and if you if any of you've ever gardened that's what happens you wait and somehow without you doing anything besides planting a seed making sure it has the things it needs to grow you have a plant and if you wait long enough, that plant like pops out cucumbers or whatever. So if that's how 
the natural world works, right? Is it possible that that's how the human world works, right? Also, I don't know if any of you watching are into manifestation, but I have been tr trying to, if it's the case that we all manifest stuff, I would rather do it intentionally and manifest in the direction of things I want rather than to not think about it and just get whatever comes. So for fertile field, that's me. That's myself, right? So that is my health, my mind, my body, my spiritual health, my environment. For me, that's my house, my vehicle, the planet. You know, these are important things. Relationships, family, friends, and society. So family, I've got my partner, my children, um, and then like my parent, my family. And then friends, there's near and far and old and new. And in society, I've got co-workers, strangers, potentially clients. I don't even know what that means. But I used to be a server and I have guests, right? Um, so the fertile field is what I do have control over. Making my field who I am, how I am, where I am, how I relate to self, how I relate to environment and others. Um, when do I do that now? Because all we have is now. So all I can do is now. And what is the mind, body, and spirit? So that's kind of like a breakdown of things that I can control. Control. Hmm. Things that I can influence directly based on my choices and actions. And then planting seeds is the setting the goals. Visualizing and making plants. And I've seen this work in my life before. Um, and sometimes it's enough to just plant the seed. Like one day I want to be a mother was something that I thought. One day I want to be a mom. And then later, as it got the time got closer, I had to make more specific plans. Well, I want to be a mom near my family. So I moved back towards my mom. And I want to be a mom with a partner. So I went looking for a good partner. And so eventually the seed of motherhood had more specific goals and the way I got more specific goals is I started to visualize well what would life look like as a mom what if I did it alone what if I did it in Seattle or Los Angeles those places where I had been what does that look like and none of those futures looked felt good right so I used the visualization to visualize a future that I actually could see myself actually wanting and I, so then I had like the goals, okay, being your home with a partner and um, be financially stable, right? That was, you know, in this example. And then I made plans to get to those things. So that was my seeds. And my attention was simply to revisit the seed and take actions needed, thereby tending to the fertile field. So when I realized if I wanted to start a family and I want to do it near my mom, I have to move near my mom. So then I took steps to make that happen. And that is how, and then I gave it time and space and breath and rest. And I sat and I practiced having faith, which isn't always easy. It's always, and I wasn't always very successful at it. Sometimes I would get anxious about it and like oh when is this going to happen is this going to happen do i need to be doing more to, you know all that stuff but what that stuff does is takes the fertile field and turns it into this like place of anxiety and nervousness so forget about that and that's and so we go back to the beginning what can i what can i do make sure i'm healthy Make sure I'm calm. And it's just sort of that cycle of doing more framework, doing less, believing I have control <laughs> over what happens and having faith that my process will 
be come to fruition will be bountiful so that's kind of in retrospect what my like journey to motherhood sort of was like systemically and so now instead of just following these other systems of you know use it leverage ai find a niche give them their problems solve that problem make a funnel right these are the and I'm not saying those things are wrong. I'm not saying those things don't work. I just, I just, it feels like it's not super aligned with, with who I am and what I want and what I want to do. Because I don't, I want to, I want to succeed, but I want us all to succeed, right? I don't think I succeed when you fail, right? I, I feel like if you succeed and I succeed, then we're all succeeding and then we can help others succeed. And then we all float up together because I believe there's enough for everybody right? and I, I believe that this idea of lack that we lack is um you know uh, functionally the result of being controlled or being being subjugated by a higher source of power and that source of power I think probably doesn't believe that if everybody succeeds, they succeed. I think the I think the power structure that we're in currently is, you know, a descendant from the Middle Ages, or however long society's been around. And I think at its core, the power structure that exists right now believes that for a few to flourish, everybody else must be controlled. And can't flourish less that take away from the flourishing and maybe that was true in medieval times when there was only a finite amount of land and time and everything took so much more time and work and energy but now we now now it doesn't take us 45 minutes to go fetch the water, right? We just turn on a tap. So as a society, we've given ourselves the most valuable commodity, commodity is time. And now we're in this technological advancement world where information is passed along in an instant. And so like our, our resources are no longer limited. They're just so immense. So anyway, I think the power structure is a bit faulty. Uh, I don't know what to do about it because I'm in it. So I have to both play the game and try to like not play the game or play with my own rules. Anyway, it's a muddle. Come figure it out together with me. I appreciate you listening. And I don't know if anybody's ever going to watch this. Nobody did today, but I didn't advertise it. See, I didn't do it. I didn't do this stuff. We'll see. We'll see how things go. All right, have a good, not yet, have a good whatever.